Happy Pools Nest Pool Queen of Cups Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Pool Pools Tribe. So this is a Mercury retrograde love reading for Sagittarius, someone rising in Venus. Let's find out what's going to be going on for love for you during this Mercury retrograde. Keep in mind, these are general messages. They may or may not resonate. If they do, great. If they don't, uh, you guys could definitely book a personal reading with me or you could check out your Moon rising or your Venus sign. Okay, so Universe, Spirits, and Guides. What is going on for... Oh, look at y'all showing up. What is going on for Sagittarius, someone rising in Venus during this Mercury retrograde? Foundation and achievements at the bottom of the deck. We have universe, base chakra, power. Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo, a Taurus. We have wisdom, destiny, or Aries. Authority and prosperity begins. Okay, some of y'all that y'all got a foundation with, there is going to be some cycles that's closing out. But I feel like it's closing out for the good because behind that, behind the universe card, we have the destiny card, which is the will of fortune. So some of you guys may be getting closer to your person and may be starting to plant this seed with the person that you've been wanting. Okay. Tell me more for Sagittarius and Venus when it comes to love during this mercury retrograde i'm trying to tell y'all some of y'all look at the lovers card and the empress okay some of y'all gonna be deciding to cut off options just saying or there's confusion that would, you won't be confused about anything. Some of you guys dealing with a Virgo, but take your time out to see things from a different perspective or what you want to invest in or who you want to invest your time in. So some of you guys could be making a decision if you are really trying to put your time and energy or actually give to this connection anymore if you're connecting with somebody. Or you're trying to find um, who do you really trying to figure out who do you really want to give your time and energy to. Or who do you really want to invest with or give to? Take it how it resonates. Ooh, Will of Fortune. Again, change. So I feel good things going to come in for you. Some of you guys dealing with a Taurus, Leo, uh, Aquarius, or Scorpio. In the wrong stuff. Yeah, some of you guys um <sighs> might be going through heartbreak. Might be going through heartbreak, yeah. With a soulmate or somebody from your past that um, you had something with that could have hurt you. Somebody from your past that um, could have hurt you. Could be trying to come back around for another change. Mercury retrograde, all about the past, ain't it? Exes want to return, get it together, yeah. Want to act like they want to work on it. Eight of Pentacles. Moon card. But there's still some things hidden with this moon card. King of Cups. King of Cups. Three of Coins. So, if this person didn't tell you, um, that they had emotions for you, whoever this person is that's planning on coming back, who want to change. Um, they're trying to work back together with you, and now they're going to be exposing their feelings. They want to work this out. 
Yep, wish for family. But I feel like you guys might decide to um, still stay on your high horse and let that communication in. You might continue to leave this person out in the cold. But this person view you as a wish fulfillment for them. I'm sure they do during the Mercury retrograde. <laughs> um, high Priestess and Five of Swords. So I feel like this person is going to be trying to use their intuition to do anything to fight for you and get you back. Okay. Alrighty. What else is gonna be going on for Sagittarius doing this Mercury retrograde for love? Let go of control issues. So some of you guys may decide to let go of control issues, or the person that's coming towards you is deciding to let go of control issues and just let things flow. Stay optimistic about your love life. That's why I said I don't know if you guys really want to give this person another chance or even let this person back in. Yeah, you deserve love. I told you, you guys might still decide to keep doing what you're doing and stand on your high horse. Give me one more card. <clears throat> true love. So this person can view you as their true love. You got honeymoon. Yeah, you guys definitely disconnected from this person, so. All right. Let's see. So, what messages do you have for Terry doing this most retrograde for love spirit? So we have new moon and Scorpio work through your fears at the bottom of the deck. We have full moon and Leo. Don't let your pride get in the way. So I don't feel like y'all letting y'all pride really get in the way, but I still feel like you guys feel like you're just better off just alone or just not with this person. Hmm. Could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio as well. We have full moon in Capricorn or Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So something um, rough, um, I feel like the karmic, anything karmic um, that, that is going on, that has went on in your past or went on in your love life, I feel like that's starting to clear up during this Mercury retrograde as well. I feel like love is going to start getting better for you. Which is crazy because, you know, Mercury retrograde, it'd be all type of stuff going on. Hey, different strokes for different folks, all right? So, that's all the messages that I have for you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, everything is down in the description box below. Um, if you'd like to join my Patreon, that's down in the description box as well. And you can also go and follow me on Instagram. That's down in the description box as well. Other than that, I love you guys, and I will definitely talk to you guys later. Bye, poo-poos.